haplogroup group J1 redirects here. This page discusses the Y chromosomal haplogroup of the same name. For the completely separate and distinct mitochondrial haplogroup also named J1C haplogroup J in genetic genealogy and human genetics, Y DNA haplogroup JM267, also commonly known as haplogroup J1 is a subclade of Y DNA haplogroup JP209, along with its sibling clade Y DNA haplogroup JM172. Men from this lineage share a common paternal ancestor, which is demonstrated and defined by the presence of the SNP mutation referred to as M267, which was announced in. This haplogroup is found today in significant frequencies in many areas in and near the Middle East and parts of the Caucasus, Sudan and Ethiopia. It is also found in high frequencies in parts of North Africa, Southern Europe and amongst Jewish groups, especially those with Cohen surnames. It can also be found much less commonly, but still occasionally in significant amounts, throughout Europe and as far east as Central Asia and the Indian subcontinent. Origins since the discovery of haplogroup JP209 it has generally been recognized that it shows signs of having originated in or near West Asia. The frequency and diversity of both its major branches, JM267 and JM172, in that region makes them candidates as genetic markers of the spread of farming technology during the Neolithic which is proposed to have had a major impact upon human populations. JM267 has several recognized subclades, some of which were recognized before JM267 itself was recognized. For example JM62 Y chromosome consortium YCC 2002. With one notable exception, JP58, most of these are not common. Because of the dominance of JP58 in JM267 populations in many areas, discussion of JM267's origins require a discussion of JP58 at the same time. Distribution Africa North Africa and Horn of Africa North Africa received Semitic migrations, according to some studies it may have been diffused in recent time by Arabs who, mainly from the 7th century A.D., expanded to northern Africa. However, the Canary Islands is not known to have had any Semitic language, though JM267 is dominated by JP58 and dispersed in a very uneven manner according to studies so far, often but not always being lower among Berber and or non-urban populations. In Ethiopia there are signs of older movements of JM267 into Africa across the Red Sea, not only in the JP58 form. This also appears to be associated with Semitic languages. According to a study in 2011, in Tunisia, JM267 is significantly more abundant in the urban than in the rural total population. According to the authors, these results could be explained by supposing that Arabization in Tunisia was a military enterprise, therefore, mainly driven by men that displace native Berbers to geographically marginal areas but that frequently married Berber women. Asia South Asia J asterisk was found in India among Indian Muslims. West Asia, the area including eastern Turkey and the Zagros and Taurus Mountains, has been identified as a likely area of ancient JM267 diversity. Both JP58 and other types of JM267 are present, sometimes with similar frequencies. The Vant and Semitic populations, JM267 is very common throughout this region, dominated by JP58, but some specific subpopulations have notably low frequencies. 
Arabian Peninsula. JP58 is the most common Y-chromosome haplogroup among men from all of this region. Europe JM267 is uncommon in most of Northern and Central Europe. It is, however, found in significant pockets levels of 5 to 10 percent among many populations in southern Europe. Caucasus The Caucasus has areas of both high and low JM267 frequency. The JM267 in the Caucasus is also notable because most of it is not within the JP58 subclade. Subclade distribution. The P58 marker which defines subgroup J1C3 was announced in, but had been announced earlier under the name page 08 in. It is very prevalent in many areas where JM267 is common, especially in parts of North Africa and throughout the Arabian Peninsula. It also makes up approximately 70% of the JM267 among the Amhara of Ethiopia. Notably, it is not common among the JM267. Kiarani 2009 proposed that JP58 might have first dispersed during the pre-pottery Neolithic B period from a geographical zone, including northeast Syria, northern Iraq and eastern Turkey toward Mediterranean Anatolia, Ishmaeli from southern Syria, Jordan, Palestine and northern Egypt. Quote, they further propose that the Zetsian material culture here may be ancestral. They also propose that this movement of people may also be linked to the dispersal of Semitic languages by hunter-herders, who moved into arid areas during periods known to have had low rainfall. Thus, while other haplogroups, including JM267, moved out of the area with agriculturalists who followed the rainfall populations, carrying JM267 remained with the flocks. According to this scenario, after the initial Neolithic expansion involving Semitic languages, which possibly reached as far as Yemen, a more recent dispersal occurred during the Chalcolithic or Early Bronze Age, and this involved the branch of Semitic which leads to the Arabic language. The authors propose that this involved a spread of some JP58 from the direction of Syria towards Arab populations of the Arabian Peninsula and Negev. On the other hand, the authors agree that later waves of dispersion in and around this area have also had complex effects upon the distributions of some types of JP58 in some regions. They list three regions which are particularly important to the proposal, the Levant. In this area, Kiarani 2009 note a patchy distribution of J1C3 a JP58 frequency, which is difficult to interpret, and which may reflect the complex demographic dynamics of religion and ethnicity in the region. The northern area of eastern Anatolia, northern Iraq in northwest Iran. In this area, Kiarani 2009 recognized signs that JM267 might have an older presence, and on balance they accept the evidence but note that it could be an error. The southern area of Oman, Yemen and Ethiopia. In this area, Kiarani 2009 recognize similar signs, but reject it as possible a result of either sampling variability and or demographic complexity associated with multiple founders and multiple migrations. Quote dot. The YCAII equals 22 to 22 and DYS 388-15 cluster. Not only is the JP58 group itself very dominant in many areas where JM267 a J1 is common, but JP58 in turn contains a large cluster which had been recognized before the discovery of P58 and is still a subject of research. This relatively 
relatively young cluster, compared to JM267 overall, was identified by street markers haplotypes, specifically YCAII as 22-22, and DYS388 having unusual repeat values of 15 or higher. Instead of more typical 13, this cluster was found to be relevant in some well-publicized studies of Jewish and Palestinian populations. More generally, since then this cluster has been found to be frequent among men in the Middle East and North Africa, but less frequent in areas of Ethiopia and Europe where JM267 is nevertheless common. The pattern is therefore similar to the pattern of JP58 generally, described above, and may be caused by the same movements of people. Tofaneli 2009 refers to this overall cluster with YCAII equals 22 to 22 and high DYS 388 values as an Arabic as opposed to a Eurasian type of JM267. This Arabic type includes Arabic speakers from Maghreb, Sudan, Iraq and Qatar, and it is a relatively homogeneous group, implying that it might have dispersed relatively recently compared to JM267 generally. The more diverse Eurasian group includes Europeans, Kurds, Iranians and Ethiopians, and is much more diverse. The authors also say that Oman is show a mix of Eurasian pool like and typical Arabic haplotypes as expected, considering the role of corridor played at different times by the Gulf of Oman in the dispersal of Asian and East African gens. Kiarani 2009 also noted the anomalously high apparent age of Omani JM267 when looking more generally at JP58 and JM267 more generally. This cluster in turn contains three well-known related subclusters. First, it contains the majority of the Jewish Cohen modal haplotype found among Jewish populations, but especially in men with surnames related to Cohen. It also contains both the Galilee modal haplotype and Palestinian and Amp Israeli Arab modal haplotype associated with Palestinians and Israeli Arabs. By Nebel 2000 and Hammer 2009. Nebel 2002 then pointed out that the Galilee modal is also the most frequent type of JP209 haplotype found in Northwest Africans, and in Yemen, so it is not isolated to the area of Israel and the Palestine. But notably, this particular variant is absent from two distinct non-Arab Middle Eastern populations, Jews and Muslim Kurds. Even though both these populations do have high levels of JP209 haplotypes, Nebel 2002 noted not only the presence of the Galilee model of JM207 in the Maghreb but also that JM267 in this region had very little diversity. Generally, they concluded that JM267 in this region is derived not only from the early Neolithic dispersion but also from recent expansions from the Arabian Peninsula, proposing that they might have been carried from the Middle East with the Arab expansion in the 7th century AD. Semino 2004 later agreed that this seemed consistent with the evidence and generalized from this the distribution of the entire YCAII equals 22 to 22 cluster of JM267 in the Arabic speaking areas of the Middle East and North Africa might in fact mainly have an origin in historical times. More recent studies have emphasized out that the Islamic expansions are old enough to completely explain the major patterns of JM267 frequencies. Kiarani 2009 rejected this for JP58 as a whole, but accepted that some of the populations with low diversity, such as Bedouins from Israel, Qatar, Sudan and UAE, are tightly clustered near high-frequency haplotypes suggesting founder effects with starburst expansion.
situation in the Arabian Desert. They did not comment on the Maghreb. Tofaeli 2009 take a stronger position of rejecting any strong correlation between the Arab expansion and either the YCAII equals 22 to 22 street defined subcluster as discussed by Semino 2004 of the smaller Galilee modal as discussed by. They also estimate that the Cohen modal haplotype must be older than 4,500 years old and maybe as much as 8,600 years old, well before the supposed origin of the Kohanim. Only the so-called Palestinian and Amp Israeli Arab modal had a strong correlation to an ethnic group, but it was also rare. In conclusion, the authors were negative about the usefulness of street-defined modals for any forensic or genealogical purposes because they were found across ethnic groups with different different cultural or geographic affiliation. Hammer 2009 disagreed, at least concerning the Cohen modal haplotype. They said that it was necessary to look to more detailed street haplotype in order to define a new extended Cohen modal haplotype which is extremely rare outside Jewish populations, and even within Jewish populations is mainly only found in Kohanim. They also said that by using more markers and a more restrictive definition, the estimated age of the Kohanim lineage is lower than the estimates of Tofnelli 2009, and it is consistent with a common ancestor at the approximate time of founding of the priesthood which is the source of Kohen surnames. The correspondence between P58 and Heidi YS388 values, and YCAII equals 22 to 22 is not perfect. For example, the JM267 subclade of JP58 defined by SNPM368 has DYS388 equals 13 and YCAII equals 19 to 22. Like other types of JM267 outside the Arabic type of JM267 and it is therefore believed to be a relatively old offshoot of JP58 that did not take part in the most recent waves of JM267 expansion in the Middle East. These DYS388 equals 13 haplotypes are most common in the Caucasus and Anatolia but also found in Ethiopia. Phylogenetics and Distribution There are several confirmed and proposed phylogenetic trees available for haplogroup JM267. The following phylogeny her family tree of JM267. Haplogroup subclades is based on the ISOGG tree, which is in turn based upon the YCC 2008 tree and subsequent published research. J1J1 asterisk J1 asterisk clusters are found in eastern Anatolia and AMP parts of the Caucasus. J1A found in a very small frequency in Britain. J1B found in a small frequency in eastern Anatolia, Iran and AMP parts of Europe. J1C J1C asterisk found in a very small frequency in Europe. J1C1, J1C2 found sporadically in Anatolia, East Africa, the Arabian Peninsula and AMP, Europe. J1C3, J1C3 asterisk found in a low frequency in the Levant and AMP, the Arabian Peninsula. J1C3A, formerly J1E1, J1C3B, formerly J1E2. J1C3C found in a small frequency in South Arabia. J1C3D accounts for the majority J1, the predominant haplogroup in Yemen. J1C3D asterisk accounts for the majority of J1 in Yemen, Cohen Jews and Ethiopia, as well as Quraysh including Sayyid. J1C3D1, J1C3D2 found in the majority of J1C3D in Saudi Arabia, are an important element of J1C3D in North Africa. 
J one C three D two asterisk J one C three D two A JL eight hundred and twenty nine found in a part of Vitriod family.